Well, hello everyone, I am Fracture, and this is Let's Play Dragon Age 1 on the PC. This is Ultimate Edition, and I have a few mods running. Now, we've gone over tactics so much, I'm going to do that less and less now as the game moves on. I think you all understand how the tactics are going. I'll probably just review when I make some major adjustments to a new character or something like that. Uh, certainly faster than I did previously. Alright, so let's take a quick look at Morrigan, though. I changed my tactics a little bit, uh, changed... Um, Alistair's tactics a little bit, basically tune them. Now what Morrigan's going to be doing is I don't have a tactic set up for her spider shape, we're just going to leave that alone. She'll be activating frost weapons when she can. Basically she takes care of herself first, um, draining life if she's low on health, mind blast if she's getting attacked, horror, that sort of thing to try and save herself. Then she'll activate frost weapons if she's got, um, if the mana is free. And then, as long as the target has a bit of life left in it, she'll just go through all, all her various skills and, and try them. And uh, she's going to prefer to use Winter's Grasp on one of Alistair's targets if he's got more than one. But other than that, she's just going to spam all her various talents. Alright, let's go and, I believe, pick up a dog. Um, yes, I'm sitting here like an idiot. Of course, I must choose destination. Now, I can't take take a moment to go into the camp, but uh, I don't think I will. We'll just go ahead head straight to Lothering. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent, and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Bantegan, please! Your Majesty. Your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Antigon, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, Your Majesty? Alright, it seems like at least not everyone is an idiot. Alright. Ah, wonderful. Brought some friends, did you? Okay, well, these guys shouldn't last long. This is the first time we'll be using Morgan's tactics. Let's see how it goes. I'm just going to barge right into the fray. Ah! 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 
and stay down. All right. Um, we're going to assume I like dogs. I'm personally not a huge fan, but I, she's going to be. I think he was out there looking for you. He's chosen you. Mabari are like that. They call it imprinting. Does this mean we're going to have this mangy beast following us about now? Wonderful. He's not mangy. Uh, I've always wanted a dog like this. Okay, well, um, cry havoc and let's slip the dogs of war, right? Yes. And okay. I'm off. I did see some flaws in the tactics, and I don't know. I've got Morgan set up as ranged, so she stood well back. So, of course, she never used Mind Blast, and Mind Blast would have been uh, really quite good in that battle. So I might tune that off camera. And otherwise, I personally probably shouldn't have barged into the, the big boss. Just um, that was my doing. I probably should have got Alistair going and then just start attacking his, basically, assist Alistair. So we'll know that for the next big fight. And yes, that's what I was looking huh. for. Played this much. All right. And again, you see their helmets going on and off. That's a mod doing that. Wake up, gentlemen! More travelers to attend to. <laughs> Led by an elf, of all things. Uh, they don't look much like their mothers. You know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers! Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the Darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now, is that any way to greet someone? <laughs> a simple ten silvers, and you're free to move on. Right. Human thieves, you're not going to last very long. Well, we'll give them a a bit of an out. You know, your uh, your dumb friend is the smartest among you. What did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee... You still got a pay. Right. Not gonna happen. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. There shall be no ransacking of my corpse. <laughs> well, this is going nowhere. Let's finish this, gents. Just let these finish going. Okay, so this time I'm just going to grab everybody and have them attack the leader, and we'll go from there. Alright, I'm Alright, we surrender. We're just trying to get by before the dog spawn get us all. Right, well, good choice of targets. Yes, yes, of course. We should have been more careful. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not going to work. Let's see. I don't know if getting them to hand over everything they've stolen and then killing them, um, you wind up with more. Let's Let's do that just in case. Well, give me everything you've got. Yes, yes, of course. The coins we collected are right here. Uh, just over a hundred silvers. The rest is in the chest we brought. I swear. Right. Now time to die. I'm not going down without a fight. 
That's what she said. Ah! Um, well, he's gonna go quick, so... Now, Alistair, well, we both took a bit of a beating here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and use some potions. That's very unlike me. I, I'm a real fan of conserving potions for no good reason. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to see what, what Alist Alistair chooses as a target. And it looks like this guy. Oh, right. Okay, you saw a mind blast get used there and stun a whole pile of them. So again, we'll let it go for a few fights and see. I might turn Morrigan off ranged just to keep her a little bit closer to the fight. Or I might add a tactic. I'm not sure if I added a tactic to force her to use mind blast more often if she's smart enough to actually move close enough to get some value out of it. Some experimenting to do. Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah, so you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. All right, well, um, what do you want to talk about, Alistair? His navel, I suspect. <laughs> he certainly has been contemplating it for long enough. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. That's the first time I've noticed that uh, Morgan's skirt is kind of hemmed with old belts. I'm assuming they're old belts. I suppose they could be cat collars. I don't know. She might not be a fan of pets. Okay. Um, I'm just going to skip past this. Look, I'll, I'll figure it out. Let's let's just get going. Obviously, we have those uh, those things to turn in and get some people on our side. So. Well, we'll need to decide eventually. Let's head into the village when you're ready. Right, ready now. Let's go loot some poor, innocent people fleeing the dark spawn. I have a wonder, Alistair, if you will indulge me. Huh. Do I have a choice? Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I find it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Wardens, or simply a personal one? What do you want to hear? That I prefer to follow? I do. You sound so very defensive. Couldn't you crawl into a bush somewhere and die? That would... Need something? I don't generally talk to strange elves who wander in here. Excuse me? You've got something against elves? I don't know you. Why shouldn't I have something against you? We've got enough strangers overrunning us. Nothing but trouble. Hmm. Do you want to leave here about a foot shorter? All right. Um, no, we're not going to bother intimidating some strangers. Not worth the, not worth the trouble. Uh, I should don't go. let me stop you. All right. You there. If you're looking for safe shelter... Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. What do you mean? We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. 